Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about this issue of pressure in a fluid. I think we might all be familiar with the case of when you go into a pool or you go into the water and you go deeper into the water, you can feel the pressure building up. And what I'd like to explore is the mathematical description of that pressure. Why does the pressure go higher when you go deeper in a fluid? And the way we're going to think about this is we're going to think about it in terms of the weight of a chunk of water. And that chunk of water is going to be a little cylinder of water, an imaginary cylinder of water that's drawn inside this bigger cylinder. Okay, so we have our cylinder of water and we're interested in the pressure caused by this cylinder of water a distance h under the water. I forgot to draw the rest of this. The way we'll think about it is by thinking about the weight of the cylinder on this area A under the water. And it's also the same area that's on the top of the cylinder. And the other thing to think about is the fact that not only is there the weight of the water pushing down on the top of us, but there's the weight due to the atmosphere pressing down on the top of this. Okay, so let's think about this in terms of forces. We know that the force that is on this area at the bottom is equal to the force from the weight of this whole thing plus the force from this atmospheric pressure. So let's write that out. The force at the bottom is equal to the force due to the atmosphere pushing down on the top of that area, plus the force due to the weight of the water pushing down on that area, right? All the water above it pushing down. We know that force and pressure are related through the equation. Pressure is defined as force divided by area. So I can write this all in terms of uh, pressures. This is equal to the pressure times A, this atmospheric force is equal to atmospheric pressure times the A on the top of that cylinder. And the force of the water is equal to the mass of the water times G, coefficient of gravity. I'm going to divide everything by A here. Okay, so if I divide everything by A, I get the pressure at the bottom is equal to atmospheric pressure plus the mass of the water times g divided by a. And we can go just a little further here. We can say that this mass of water, oops, that this mass of water is actually the density of water times the volume of the water, right? The volume of this cylinder of water times g divided by a. Well, what is this volume equal to? The volume is actually the area A times H, right? The volume of this is this area times this height, and that gives us the total V, total volume, right? So let's write that out. The atmospheric pressure plus rho water times A times H times G divided by A, and we see this really cute thing happen. We see that the A's actually cancel out. And what we're left with is the pressure is equal to, at the bottom here, some depth, H, is equal to the atmospheric pressure, or whatever pressure is acting on top, times the density of water, times H times G. And this is a fundamental equation that we'll use a ton in the class. It's called the hydrostatic equation. 